This break is brought to you by Netflix. Head on over to Netflix.com slash GameBreakerTV to sign up for a free 30-day trial. EVE Online senior producer John Lander recently talked with Gama Sutra about the secret to EVE's success. So we brought on Game Breaker writer Jason Winner to give us a little insight as to why everybody out there who gets their hand on EVE becomes so fanatical about it. So Jason, why is EVE so, why is EVE spread like wildfire? <laughs> well, the quote that really stood out to me that, that John said in this interview was, it's not our game anymore, which is an interesting way of putting it. I mean, he says they only have four content devs, which is really surprising to me. They only have that few, you know, a number of people, but he has a lot of people who work on uh, systems and various other aspects of the game. The notion being that you don't just design the content and then toss stuff out to people to, to, to do in a, in a linear fashion like a lot of games do. They just create tools that let people do things. And they also have, of course, things like the, the Council for Stellar Management, uh, you know, to help, again, make it more of a player-driven thing than than a you know, company-driven thing. It's that, That's just how it is. And, and Eve, he even says it's less a game than it is a social engine. We kind of we kind of talk about that with other MMOs being you know, glorified chat rooms. But sure. Eve is you know, not on that level, but it's, it's, it is more of a social experience maybe than a lot of other games. And CCP is actually kind of recently running in, into a lot of issues over the last year with um, losing some players over various controversies. Did John have anything to say about that? Yeah, he says they, they let hubris get in the way of it. They, you know, they had the notion that they could do anything and, and it wouldn't really affect them. And I brought this up a while ago when this first this sort of thing first broke last year. It was around the same time that uh, like Bank of America had that uh, $5 debit card thing they were going to do. And uh, you know, even our good friends at Netflix tried the Quickster thing and thought that that would work out fine. And you know, they realized that they can't just do whatever they want. The companies do have to do have to pay attention to what the customers want rather than just going into whatever they want to do. But on you know on their bright side, he took full responsibility for it all. Said that you know anything that goes on here is ultimately uh, you know comes down to him. So it was good for him to say that. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for keeping us up to date on that interview, guys. For all of your video game news, keep it tuned right here to Game Breaker TV. We'll keep you updated throughout the day. Thanks for watching. See you next time.